Hey, All right, guys, hey, welcome to episode hey, 87 hey. of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me, got Jay over here. Sheesh. You already know how the fuck we're rocking, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing, all that good shit. Don't forget to do just that. Go down in the description, get yourself some merch. And listen, guys, only about 10 to 15% of y'all are actually subscribed. So hit the subscribe button. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Stop Turn watching. on the notification bell. And stop playing, well, man. Just get the Welcome fuck to out the family. Here. And if you don't want to do that, hey, fuck yous. Fuck yous. <laughs> yeah, but we dog, still love yous. My dog is yous. my dog is fucking rocking the 70s show right now. Bro, Led Zeppelin. Let, hey, guys. Let's listen, get it. Let's look, get it. Round of applause. Round of applause. He looks Quick like he's round high of applause. in the sky right now. Just he looks like Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Thank he you. looks like he's Thank about he looks it. like Moses. He's about a rock, a rock concert. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. He looks like Slash. Mm. Mm. There you go. It's my father. I could see that. I'm not even playing it. with I you. I see it right here. Right Thank here. you. I'm not I even it. playing with you, bro. I really see slashing you, bro. It's crazy, man. Mm. Thank you, know? you. It's like the rock Thank stars you. That in your fucking That warms my blood. heart. That warms my heart. <laughs> Good. Nah, yeah. guys. But listen, man. Get to fucking sparking whatever you got. Roll your blunt. Roll your J. You forgot pack to your ball, do that. Pack your balls. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. Because cool. I'm doing it now. If so you, you should do it now, too. He's like, shit. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you get a little high and you forget part of the intro. You know what you're I'm dope. saying? You're dope. But, uh, yeah, but yeah, 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 guys. We wanted to have a special, special, special shout out this motherfucking week for our new friend, our new pet that we got in the backyard. Teddy the Teddy. Tortoise. Teddy the tortoise, welcome Teddy. to the family, man. He's been back there fucking cooling, guys. Ooh. Like, yeah, he like, just shows cooling, up. bro. Yeah, he yeah, just yeah. shows up and then leaves and yeah. then comes back when he wants to. Rent yeah. free, you know rent free. We don't charge. Yeah, no charge. No, Teddy's no charge. cool, bro. He's he cool. be chilling. He, he could crash on the yeah, couch right quick. He eats you know a couple fucking daisies a couple days. And, yeah, and he ate all the yellow daisies in the back. The daisies, God you bless know? his heart. And he's, he's pretty big. Girl. He's pretty big. So uh, Remy came out there. He was just like, yo, what the fuck is this? Yeah, what bro, is he, this? He, he was confused. <laughs> Kept turning his head left and right. Like, oh. And then he tried barking. And it was like a rat. He said he tried barking. Yeah, Remy, he's a dog. Hey, yeah. listen, if you look at Remy's face, you can tell that there's not, not much vodka. air gets in. Yeah, the flow. So, you know what I mean? The like, airflow. Yeah, the airflow is a little fucked. But... Like, he's like a China glass, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Compared to the, the hand blown glass, he's a China glass. He can't breathe. It's not, there's no flow. No, facts. But yeah, man, like, it's crazy how we've been talking about how crazy shit's been getting for a while now, right? And, uh, we were t- just talking about how, like, there's been shooting after shooting after shooting. And a little message we wanted to send to you guys out there. Shout out to Boosie, Mike. Boosie. Uh, this came from Boosie. I saw a video with Vlad TV, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? And he was saying how he's like, yo, I don't tell uh, rappers to make a hit record no more. I don't tell youngins to make a hit record. I just tell them to stay dangerous and stay with your strap. Ooh. Yeah. You know what I'm Ooh. saying? So round of applause to Boosie. Strap. Stay you know dangerous. Because I completely agree, man. Stay dangerous. And what, what, what that means for those of y'all that might not understand is Facts. like, just, you know, stay on your P's and Q's, man. Stay ready Wherever, so you don't have yeah, to get ready. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. When you go out, man, ha- have your concealed weapon on you. You know what I'm saying? And 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 be ready for, for whatever. Don't get too sloppy <laughs> drunk. Don't get, you know, because anything <laughs> could happen at any moment. Yep. So just remember that, man. <laughs> just stay safe. Keep your family safe. Because nowadays, man, like, Stay alert. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, bro. he got shot in the leg like months after that statement. Yeah. He did. Like, he was in a wheelchair for a couple months, going to shows, still fucking rocking out. Like, facts. Maybe like, he didn't stay dangerous enough. Yes. Nah, facts. 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 He was like, oh, okay. Yeah, bro, but yeah. we're, we're glad Boosie okay. Yeah, man. Right. We're glad he all right, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yo, shut up. Yo, rest in peace, Mo3, too. Yeah, rest, in, rest up, Mo3, for real. Yeah. Facts. I didn't know he was a Gemini. That's crazy. Yeah, Mo Mo's really yeah, one of the more yeah, no. one of the more talented uh, <laughs> artists that we lost recently. But um Facts. but yeah, man. So this fucking Cornell uh university, right? Right, right. It's uh it's kind of racist. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cornell. And the way we're saying the the reason why we're saying this is because um they're being accused of racism. Really? For yeah, for only letting like uh, white people, no, minorities, no. you know the, what I'm saying? The article is talking about that nobody, it's not being accused of racism. It's mm. just the fact that the article says that they're going to start providing classes for only people of color. And then people are saying, like, yeah, oh, that's pretty you know, racist. People yeah, like that us is, that's are segregation. Saying that, that if you listen to that, right? And the definition of racism, wouldn't that technically be racism? It is, man. And, and we, like, it's this is the conversation that's uncomfortable. Most people don't want to fucking have because they're not. 
emotionally stable. You gotta yeah. be open-minded. Like, you too. gotta be open-minded, and you gotta realize that for racism to end, it's gotta end on both sides. It's every. gotta end on every side. It can't just be one side, oh, y'all stop racism, and then we continue it over here. No, bro. If we're not all gonna fucking stop being racist towards each other, then yeah. shut the fuck up. Yeah, nah. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah, like, it, just, can't, it can't just, just be one side. Yeah, like, yeah. It's, ultimately, bro, everybody gotta stop being racist, man. Like, yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. heading towards the future, bro. We're yeah, that is straight up racism, though. If you tell somebody, oh, this, remember back in the day, it was like, oh, your skin color, though, it prevents you from this, from this. But now to tell then the opposite, reverse racism, I guess you could call it. Yeah, reverse. To be like, oh, well, reciprocal. these are only for black people. And But if you're light skinned, you cannot be in this class. Okay, yeah, it's that's like, racism. That's it's segregation. Facts. That's again. segregation. It is. It is. It's might segregation. As, might as well fucking split everybody on the bus again. Facts. Yeah, yeah, no, facts. This is this shit. Facts, bro. Fuck it's like, you. like, like ultimately, bro, we if like I just said, man, that's just my opinion. If we're gonna get past racism, it's gotta end on all sides, bro. It can't just be one fucking sided. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and it all comes down to like who's fucking raising you. Like, cause I've seen some yeah, shit. Fact. That's taught for sure. I yeah. believe all that of racism it is, taught. is taught. Nobody's born a racist person. Exactly. All of it is yeah. taught, bro. It's like Hate I've heard taught. I've heard a lot of different things, man. Like for example, shout out to Charleston White, man. We were just talking yeah. about him. He, he's talked about how when he grew up in his era, like, he was taught by his uncles and fucking, you know, elders that, like, no no white boy or Mexicans could whoop niggas. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you're taught that as a kid. He didn't fucking think that. If you was going to go fight a white person or a fucking a, a, a Mexican guy, he wouldn't have thought that until they told him that. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's how that works. Yeah. Like, racism is taught to you, bro. Yeah. And then you got to fucking unlearn it yeah. as you grow up and realize, like, yeah, like... That shit ain't true. Like, we're all... No, it is true. It's, it, it exists, but it exists everywhere. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. yeah. I like, meant, like, just, like... Certain stereotypes are not true. Like there, like there's certain oh, stereotypes that are jokes, but oh, yeah. they're pretty funny. And like people need a sense of humor too. Like, come on, bro. Like we used to have like normal ass jokes. Like, and now we can't even talk about anything anymore because people are just Listen, again. Man, we, I, we're going back to the same topic. You, you're just being soft. Soft ass generation. Yeah, you know, facts, my kid was talking facts. to me yesterday. We were watching yeah. a movie and it was a cartoon, <laughs> but it was like based on like Babe Ruth days back in the day. And obviously back then they had the Negro League. The baseball league, you know? So, obviously, in one part of the movie, the little boy is on the beat and in the bus, and the whole team's black. Yeah. And uh, my son was just like, why is everybody on the team black? And I was like, because that was back in the days when, the, um, you know, light-skinned people wouldn't let, or white people wouldn't let um, black people join because of the color of their skin, and there was racism. I was like, and there's racism all over the world, I explained. Mm -hmm. I'm like, but a human's a human, a person's a person. I was like, you treat every single person with respect. Yep. No matter what. Yep. Shit. That's how I was Until talking. they disrespect you. Yeah, and if they disrespect you, it doesn't matter if they're blue, brown, yeah. white, black, pink, purple. Pink, purple. I don't give a motherfuck green. Yeah, Make a you listen. be black and blue. You... You disrespect me, I'm going to disrespect you. But until then, respect is going to be shown Big and it's going to be given. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's a fact. Nah, nah, nah I, got a a, I got a good connection. Holy shit, that was heavy. Damn, bro, that shit was that dumping. Shit, yeah, I got a good connection with a, <laughs> with a lot of different races, man. Like, I don't know. I'm the type that's like, I could just fit in with you. I don't know. I felt no, you like, look like you, you look like a racist. Like I'm just I've been around I've been in Florida all my life, so like being versatile, like I guess. Yeah, you we say have that, a lot right? of bro, yeah. we have some of the best tourist yeah. destinations here. So this a lot of different cultures pop. come here. Yep. And it's like but it's because you're willing to you're willing to open up, be open minded and be like, Hey man, I'm willing to uh what is it like resonate with you on a certain level yeah. most people aren't yeah. even willing to do that because as soon as they see Ignorant. something they don't like they're fucking going the other way and mm. they don't give a person a chance like yeah. bro i don't care where you're from you might not even be able to speak english yeah but if you seem like a good person and you're trying to communicate and ask me something i'm gonna try to yeah. communicate back with right? you know what I'm saying? at the like, end of the day all of us are human beings Facts, you might identify bro. as this, that, but we all can identify as a human, I guess. And right? we all could connect somehow if yeah. you're actually willing to open up, bro. Yeah. For real. Like, yeah, like seriously. Everybody you gotta just, open up. You can't be too tough for the world, man, and, and be closed in and shit. Like, I don't know. I just don't like people that are just like, they want change in their life, right? Like, let's say they want change in their life and they want, let's say, for example, I want a new wife, but they're complaining, ah, this man, I want to get a woman, but you stay inside the house all fucking day. You see what I'm saying? Or, man, I really want to start networking, but you never leave the fucking house. You see what I'm yeah. saying? How are you going to find... Sometimes you just got to go out there and find it sometimes and That's let it come fact. to you. You can't just That's sit... You can't just fucking sit here and fucking... I forgot what we were talking 
Oh, we're just talking. No, we talking no, about. no, no. I'm just talking about like people, like in general. I just changed the subject real quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, I yeah, was like, just damn, like, you threw me off. I'm like, no, because like I'm kind of like we get it, bro. Like racism, bro. Like we, oh, get yeah, it. Like, yeah, you yeah, know, racism, like racism, racism. Like it's never gonna go away, yeah, but yeah. like it's slowly going away. I, I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't make. I don't know if that makes sense. It's slowly going away, but I feel like it's never gonna go away. Does that make sense? I feel like it's a, it's at an all time high of the the media pushing the racism. Yes, shit. yes. Like it's dying out, but like. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know. Because nowadays you just don't know. Be a free thinker. That's yeah. It. Like, don't fuck. let somebody to tell you, like, oh, do you see those people over there? They're brown. Those are Asians. Those are these shit and like this. Like, yeah. bro, just like, if you're cool, you're a cool person. If you're a piece of shit, you're a piece of shit. Like, you don't know nowadays if fact. this guy's father's black. You look at some kids and it's yeah. like, okay, this guy's white as shit, but his dad's black as fuck. No, you just true. don't yeah, know. That's true. Like, you can't just sit here and judge somebody off, the, off their color. Like, you don't know if their grandfather was fucking black. Like, my grandpa was fucking darker than me way darker than me yeah. you know what i mean but it is what it is he even told me his neighbors when he lived in alabama they would talk to my grandma because Oof. she was white <laughs> white puerto rican but they wouldn't really talk to grandpa because he was a dark skin <laughs> that's crazy bro i've experienced that type of shit myself bro it happens yeah. but mm-hmm. you don't see me fucking crying about yeah it. like exactly. shut the fuck up like it Eat happens yeah. man. Yeah. like you just you you come across people like that and you realize like you have to realize in the moment like that's an ignorant person they have absolutely no fucking idea what they're talking about. Yeah. And they're just ignorant. And what did they do? You they opened mean? up. They opened up. He got to know them and then they became friends. Bro, listen. Yeah, bro. Ultimately, bro, it's like you. That's it. You, you, you can't be. You, you can't try to be racist. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like everybody's prejudiced in a certain way or another. Your culture teaches you certain things about other cultures and, and shit like that. But. You have yeah. to be grown can, about it. Yeah, you got to be grown and about it and understand. You got you can be proud of your culture and not shit on other cultures. Yeah, yeah straight up. Ivy was telling me the other day. That I think it was yesterday or the day before, and she was working, and um, there was this group of black dudes, and like this drunk white dude comes up, and like you know the stand up gentlemen, these black dudes, real good guys, and this white dude comes up, bro, and he started just dropping the n word in front of them like hard, and like the one dude was at first like everybody froze. That was there, even the, all the staff, and they looked, and they were just like, you know, the manager and everybody stepped in, but that the dude was really grown about it, and I respected that because he was just like, you know what, I know he's drunk, and he straight up just put his hand on the dude's shoulder. He's like, yo, my man. He's like, right now, he's like, I will fuck you up, like I will fuck you up. He's like, but I know you're drunk. Yeah. You see what you're I'm not saying? You're in your right state of mind. Yeah. Bro. So at the end of the day, bro, he he could have, he could have. And he had all the right in my book. He had all the right, but yeah, you know what? But, that was big. That's that's respect to him. Yeah, that's yeah, you're bro. a man. Listen, man. Straight up. Honestly, it's just pick your battles. Yeah, pick your battles. But the guy and, got scared. She said after that, like the white dude was like, as he was quiet as fuck because the dude just put his hand. And she's like, he was a big dude. And yeah. he's like, yo, my man. He's like, I can fuck you, and sweep the street with you right now. He said, I'm gonna let you go. I'm. A, I'm, I'm that's gonna a, spare that, you. Shout out to that guy, yeah, man. Round of applause to him yeah, being I'm a big person, you. being the bigger person yeah. in this situation. Because that's what you need to do a lot of the times because it would have been a lose-lose situation. You, you would have probably ended up going to jail, some assault charges all over yeah. a person that you're not changing their mind by whooping their ass. Yeah. You would have probably killed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you're not whooping their ass by changing their mind, like yeah. changing their mind by whooping their ass. So this it is what it is. But guys, <laughs> just don't try not to be a piece of shit. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Don't like, be for a complainer. Real. Try not yeah. to be a piece of don't shit. Don't be a complainer. Get some thick skin, bitch. Yeah, guys. So the Chauvin <laughs> juror the Chauvin juror that fucking uh, might have fucked the whole case up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fucking piece um, of shit. This guy, he was on the jury, but he was also linked to Black Lives Matter and being at the protests and shit like that. But... <laughs> Do you see this? <laughs> this guy, Do you man, see this? No, it's a fucking it. fist. It's a fist. Black it's power. Fist. Yeah. Facts. But yeah. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so he, he might have fucked up the whole case, guys. Nah, because apparently he lied on the questionnaire. That yeah. Asked, because you know I'm sure that questionnaire asked. Because this is my belief. This is I what I tell my wife, bro. I tell my wife this: that the government, if you go to those rallies and shit, you get arrested. You're fucking red flag, bro. They they red yeah. guy. You're like that's like a terrorist. Yeah, guy. they watch you. So I, that's why I tell my wife. That's why I don't attend rallies. I don't attend. I ain't going. Riots. I don't do none of that. I stay out. I'm on my motherfucking yeah. business. Yeah, Facts. you stand out. Hey, yeah, listen, bro. It. I ain't gonna go out there and risk my life for people that don't even fucking know you and wouldn't shake your hand if they walk past. And they're doing. And most of them are doing it for clout. Yeah. I want to be on the or news. Just, I'm gonna like, stand bro, on listen. this car and put my skateboard like it's this. It's for the people. Think with logic, <laughs> yeah. not emotion. 
Yeah. What's that really doing? Love is the answer. What's that? That's a fact. Right. What's that really doing though? It's not really doing like, anything. I mean, like unless it's for a good cause, like a different cause, like not no like normal ass like as long as regular it's not political a, shit. Uh, riot or a protest. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like if, if we're marching for fucking life or for autism, cancer. And, and yeah, for cancer. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. You could do that, but the fact that not Florida, I guess, is like after all this shit happened, they put anti riot laws into place. If I'm not mistaken, don't quote me on it. But I believe Florida was one of those states that put anti riots because people were like, oh complaining because some states put um, laws now into place that you can't gather with more than like fucking 20 people downtown and stuff like that but it's to prevent you know riots and that even though that you can't really prevent it but they got horses you know I call it fucking animal planet walking down the fucking the uh, road they yo, fucking control the riots bro I do not want to get that. hit by one of those Hell horses no. nah and they don't give a fuck about you mm-hmm. nah they don't know what's going on they just they're like, gonna oh, run you yeah. over bro they're gonna go wherever the nigga on them tells them to go and they're healthy <laughs> horses they ain't no scrawny donkeys no, 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 bro no, no. <laughs> he said healthy horses no scrawny donkeys no scrawny donkeys nah, over here ain't no scrawny donkeys bro healthy this is horses, animal planet this is right? animal nah bro yeah it, it's crazy bro but that guy right there, man. Like, just yeah. don't don't lie, man. Yeah. Don't yeah, lie because now, now you fucked honestly, bro. I feel like that case would have went like that either way. Yeah, you feel me? Even if they try it like twenty times, they're still gonna go. It, they it indicted the other three too now, and they want to hit them bro, with federal charges. The other three guys over there, the cops. The thing about it is, man. There's right. There's wrong. And there's America. There's, there's right and there's wrong. <laughs> and the, there's right and there's wrong on both sides, bro. Like, because mm-hmm. there's a one point in the video where. Where uh, there was a man in the background, you heard him telling George, he's like, "Just get in the truck, bro. Yeah, just, just get in the car, bro. Just get in the car." Well, they say he was high, and he was like, "Not nah, whatever he was, yeah. bro. Man, niggas be high and go to jail." Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, just get in the car. But I mean, they they said he was into some hard stuff. You know, some of that shit. Listen, man, like, I'm sure he was. I'm sure he was. But uh, where the wrong on the other side yeah. comes in at is. Putting your knee on a nigga's neck for nine minutes. Like, use common sense there, my Yeah, friend. it's like yeah. eight and a half, eight minutes and 46 seconds it's or like, something. Bro, just like put that. him in the car. Yeah. You already got him down. What do you <laughs> need to have your neck, your knee on his neck, bro? Yeah, There's nah. four officers, one nigga in handcuffs already on the ground. And you, you see, see what I'm saying? That one guy recording. ruined it for all of us. That one police officer hey, ruined one guy. it for all of us. The one guy. You the know? one guy. Yeah, there's always that one guy mm-hmm. at everything. At your right. job, that one guy that just pisses you and off. And listen, bro, put your knee on his back. Yeah. I've seen that plenty of times. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be uncomfortable, too. But guess what? He's still going to be able to breathe. Bro, those three yeah. grown-ass you know men, men, they're four, I think. Yeah. If you it, all, I was like, grab him, throw him on the fucking granny, back seat. Granny, he is a big dude. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a big dude. You yeah, see what I'm saying? And it's like... But four grown men... four of you. It's four niggas against me. Yeah, of course. Bro, you got it. You can... <laughs> you got it, bro. The the four car. niggas. But they're... Like I said, they're like... He could have just gotten in the car as well. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's... Comply! But that doesn't grant a, 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 a death warrant. And that's where, nah. that's where I feel like a lot, of, a lot of the anger comes from where it's like, that's what the judge is for. Because people yeah. are like, oh, well, he was a criminal, so what the fuck does it matter? Nigga, it's not you. You're not the judge and the cop ain't the judge. The yeah. judge is the judge. The so get him, to ju- shit, get him to jail... And let the judge judge him. Yeah, that's why. Don't he, fucking what's be saying? like, oh well, you could just kill him because he has a fuck. Look at his rap sheet, nigga. He fucking yes. What's that he saying? He has a rap sheet. That, but that you told me that you told me that saying. It was like, uh, don't tell me to say it to the judge because it's true. That's a yeah. fact. Don't yeah. talk. Don't. I'm just here I'll, arresting you, bro. That's a fact. Yeah. There's cops that say that shit all the time when they're arresting somebody. Yeah. You could explain all you want to a cop, bro. That's yeah. not my job. No, my yeah. job is to arrest you. Yeah. The judge will talk to you in the morning. Yeah, I don't want to. I'm a transporter. Yeah. I don't want to talk to you. I I'm going to lunch it. in 30 minutes, yeah. motherfucker. No, I, right? the fuck yeah. I capture and I transport. No, bro. That's it. <laughs> I capture. I that's that's bro, it. To yeah. be completely honest, I don't care about your case. Like, Thanks, no, like, that ass. Yeah. Like, you'll talk to the judge. That's what he's for. Remember how police officers started? We can't, started. Be, we can't, be, a cool be, cop, we can't be like letting cops be the judge, jury, and executioner right on the spot because yeah. that's dangerous. Yeah. You know? But... If Never I, not, if I know, a gun. not all cops are like that. No, no, no. Brother. I'm gonna be a cool cop. You know what I'm saying? Not all cops cool. are. Not you all cops. Be a cool cop. My yeah. dog said he's gonna be a cool guy. Oh, yeah. no, I, would, no, I would. I would. <laughs> but like, if I, I knew homie was like, if I knew homie was gonna be locked up for like a long time, like damn, this nigga just 
You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'll stop in a uniform. I can see John in a uniform. Oh, I'll see it in his face. I'll stop. I can see it. I'll stop at McDonald's. I'll stop at McDonald's, give him like a little, little, you know what I mean? Like, damn, bro, you're going to be gone for a while. He said, yeah, I'll nah, like, yeah, yeah, bro. Nah. Like, you got to get a McChicken in. I'll be like, but listen, you, want a cig- you don't even smoke cigarettes, but boy, you stress. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah, you're yeah, a big stress. Yeah. Take a puff of this real quick. I remember bro. the day facts. I stopped smoking cigarettes, bro. That was the best day of my life. Yeah, me too. Yeah, facts. Round of applause yeah. to everybody yeah. that stopped smoking cigarettes. We all stopped smoking smoking yeah. cigarettes it's been years. you know what i'm saying it's been years years and yeah, yeah. for the most part i quit blunts i like go on and off yeah. but it's been a couple yeah, months I'm now since i've been off, off. me too yeah facts like it's just it's that habit it's a habit man yeah. especially when you grow up with that type of shit but um but listen something something that's fucking crazy to me is the youngest trans child in the uk yeah, bro. Take it like away, four Jay. Four years old. Four years old. Is he an yeah. octopus now? Like, what the fuck yeah. is he now? What is, <laughs> is he a squid? <laughs> what do you want to be today, honey? A bro. fucking. What do you want to be? You yeah. want to... This doesn't make any sense to me. It says a father says his four year old told him, "I am a. I'm not a girl at the age of two. Wow. Can somebody just please First explain all, to me, right? How you think, right? That a two year old who's Incapable of wiping their own ass barely properly and fucking doing a barely. lot of shit. Their brain, right? Because they say that the human brain's not developed to about age twenty-five. Facts. So you're telling me that this two-year-old's undeveloped brain can make that decision, and they're not going to change their mind somewhere in the future? Yeah, bro. Since when the fuck did a parent? Listen to a two year old and be like, Oh yes, my god, that's it. Bro. You're gonna be the parent now, yeah, motherfucker. You don't know what you're talking about. Take your ass to bath and go to bed. You yeah. know what my dad was talking about? Talking about? You're, you ain't a girl or you ain't a boy, whatever the fuck. Like, I'll get slapped yeah. in the head, bro. Yeah, you're gonna dad. grow up and be like, You're probably not even gonna remember saying some stupid shit like that. Your motherfucking ass off and go in there and put your boy clothes on. <laughs> Get your fucking ass in the school bus. <laughs> nah, like realistically, like if, my dad if, would if just own kid, me. Listen, if a kid is already, <laughs> if a kid is already like, you know, like 15, older. 16, yeah, they're and they're saying they're that, experimental. all right, it's like, listen, bro. It's your job as a parent I'm not, to guide your I'm not going to agree with it. If that's yeah. how you feel, you're going to yeah. make your own actions. Yeah. I can't stop you. But yeah. I hope you realize at some point that that's not the way it's meant to be. You know exactly, what I'm saying? Because you can't do nothing. Like, what can you do? Beat it out of them? Yeah, no. And you're still going to love your fucking kid. You might yeah. be mad. It's like anything yeah. else. You're going to be mad. Yeah, but yeah, you're yeah. going to love your kid. Yeah, but sure, a sure. kid that's two, yeah, four, bro. nigga, I don't give a fuck if you're 10. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, I'll nigga, get, what, I'll get over it. what are you talking I'll, about right now? I'll get over it. Like, if you're an adult. Yeah. Like, but like, make a sandwich. You can't even make a sandwich. But you don't know what tonight's meal. Like Boosie said, you don't know what your next meal is going to be. Yeah. You don't even know. But you don't know nothing about life. You don't know nothing about bills. You don't know nothing no, about don't nothing put, man, don't but you want to be a fucking girl now the dad or the father's gonna let you make this life altering decision like you're the real piece of shit in this story my man yeah the thing is bro fuck you I don't yeah. have kids but I would imagine you wouldn't want to be supportive and you don't want to be too pushy because you might fucking the kid might rebel even more but you still gotta explain shit man you gotta have an understanding like, and mutual respect when you yeah. have kids to be able to be like look I don't like this but it doesn't mean I'm gonna love you any less you see what I'm saying? As long yeah. as you don't disrespect my rules here, you know, I don't care how you live your life. Yeah, facts. Shit, not, you know? my, facts. Shit, not my dad. My dad would be like... <laughs> I disown yeah, you, motherfucker. Come on, let's keep it a bug. I like, don't, know, I don't know how my dad would react to yeah. be real, but... <laughs> if you would have told him you're a girl? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like... He would have just looked at you and not took you, you serious. Would you would have just stared girl. at you. <laughs> you would have probably just laughed. You would have just looked at you like... <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah, that's a big ass girl. It's like Adam Sandler. What's that movie? Like, dude, that's a big ass bitch. Juana Man. No, it was Gigolo. It was Gigolo. Yo, I remember that shit. I think it was Gigolo. Gigolo. Remember seeing the movie Gigolo? Oh, Deuce Bigolo. Deuce Bigolo. That movie's fucking He's in the courtroom. You see that big ass bitch. Oh, yeah. That's a baby. He's like, Deuce it's like, damn, that's a big bitch. That's a big bitch. <laughs> that's all you hear in the background. <laughs> uh, 
That's a, that's a classic. Yeah, that's a classic. But you know what's not a classic? Justin Bieber's fucking uh, mop dreads. Oh, they look like little straws. They look like the they look like the dollar store mop after a fucking oh shit pissy mopping. Oh, yeah, we, you know we got one of those yeah, over yeah, there, right over there. That's what I'm telling you. Shaggy, man. Shout out to you, Justin. You might want to cut those off, buddy. Yeah, bro. Now he's trying to fit in. He's trying to be with the culture. He's trying to, you know, having long hair is like a younger guy thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I feel like uh-huh. Justin Bieber's like you. But you went past that. You have the Bieber. You have no, the Bieber. He needs to bring dude. the Bieber back, bro. He, bro, if he brings the Bieber back now, what? Well, how old is he? Like twenty fucking five or some stupid shit. So I, whatever. I, I have old. He's like my age. Yeah. He's a, he's an adult yeah. though. Yeah. But if you bring the Beeps back yeah. now, you got to bring oh, the whole bro. thing back though. It's gotta, the Beeps. Yeah, it's got to be eye. right. Yeah. It's got to be right above the above fucking eyebrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's not, don't bring it over. I don't want to see it. Fuck you. Facts. No, but shout out to you, Justin. Cut your fucking hair. Bring that yeah, no, nah, facts, Justin. Shout yeah. out to you, though, man. You, You're you, trying. I can't imagine me with hair. I don't know. I never really understood why people hated him when he was younger. No, you know what I'm saying? Said, Just because he's fucking him. young and he's 16 and, and he was already a millionaire and, beautiful. and he had the most luscious head of hair. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get my weed from California. Da, da, da. You heard that? I don't know uh, what from yeah, that's I don't know what that We usually Justin put Bieber. out into songs yeah, together, but, yeah. but today I don't know what the fuck peaches, this guy peaches. was talking about. He went out on his own. It was peaches. Yeah, yeah. he went out on a limb and he hey, fucking man. drowned. Fuck Yo, him. Shout out Bieber, but I'll man. tell you He's what, talented. guys. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing, all that good shit. Don't forget to do just that. Go down in the description. Get yourself some merch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and listen, once again, only about 10, 10 of y'all are fucking, or 10% on, of man. y'all are, are, are subscribed. What are we doing? What are we doing? Come on, subscribe, man. Subscribe. I'm gonna put a gator mouth butt plug in you. We'll a gator that. mouth we'll butt plug. We'll we gotta talk about that, about that later. Y'all don't know nothing yeah. about that. That's some Florida that's shit. That Florida that's shit. that Florida shit. Yeah, yeah. But hey, guys, tell somebody you love them because we love you, man. Peace. We'll catch you on the Sheesh. next one. Yeah.